Good morning friends, let's take a look at the greens. I would really like to give the sunflowers another day, but the um, interesting thing about this crop here is this edge is not developed at all, and then the outer edge here is not developed. Just right here is developed, and if you, if you look at where the uh, heat mat runs, it runs from here kind of along here so there's a lot of heat loss here the heat mat runs along here so that's that's my theory anyway why we have this uh, undeveloped part I would really like to give these another day they're nine days old and uh, it's quite cold um, it's quite cold today and uh, going to go down to 10 degrees Fahrenheit outside so um, maybe they deserve another day here are my uh, temps 79 is um, in the sunflower tray 59 is ambient so let's unstack this bunch so with this tray of sunflowers I put this foam material and uh, to try to insulate that side that uh, was cold on, on the other batch. So here are my sunflowers. They're looking pretty good except uh, for the mold that's beginning to grow. Um, and you see my sensors there, which I will remove. Ra uh, radish, doing great. And... Um, Broccoli here looking pretty good uh, This time I put weight on all three of them where I was experimenting with no weight and uh, I like what I'm seeing better with weight So my response to mold is to spray it down with water and turn on the fan um, The water kind of pushes it down and then the fan is uh, going to discourage it from growing it back. So I had have been testing this for about 10 days. Um, <clears throat> it uh, failed. The readings, the sensor readings went down to a hundred something and uh, I think it got wet. So I've been leaving it out of the soil and uh, readings are going up. Maybe it will dry out um, we'll see, but what I'm doing is I've got two more of these and I'm dipping it in varnish. Gonna put a couple more coats of varnish on these. I took off the, um, the adapter or the connector there and just, uh, soldered straight into the board and put this little, uh, zip tie on for strain relief. Uh, this wire, by the way, is USB wire, and uh, it's a way to, there are actually four wires in there, but it's a way to get a three-wire system easily with, uh, with multiple wires. So that's those, I've got to dip them a few more times, and uh, using... Um, some marine varnish, actually it's sea tall, it's not exactly varnish, but similar type product. So I think I am going to give these another day. Uh, it may be too much to expect nine days uh, harvest in cold weather. Maybe I should change my system over to ten days. Thank you for watching. I may uh, be back again tomorrow with uh, some numbers on the harvest yield.